What's up everyone, how are we doing? In this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up NVIDIA filters using the NVIDIA Experience software and share with you what I believe to be the best filter settings to give you the best visibility and gaming experience in Warzone. Now unfortunately, this is only available for those of you who play on PC and have an NVIDIA graphics card installed. What you need to do first, if you haven't already, is to install the GeForce Experience software, which you'll find a link to in the description below, or just Google search NVIDIA Experience, and you'll see a link to the NVIDIA website to download it along the top. From here, you need to click on Download, and then run the installer once it's finished downloading. This will basically start to auto-install the program. All you'll need to do partway through this process is to click on Agree, to show that you agree with NVIDIA's privacy policy and license agreement. Once you agree with it, it'll finish off the install and then the GeForce experience will open up and you just need to log into your account. From here, you just want to click on the settings icon at the top right, scroll down a little bit and make sure that you have the in-game overlay setting enabled. Then you're good to close the program and you can boot up Warzone where we'll set these filters up. If you want to just outright copy the filters that I personally use, you can just do this next step in the main menu of the game, but I definitely recommend actually solo filling into a game of plunder or something, so you can actually see what these effects look like for you in game. Not all of us use the same monitor and the same setup, so this can make a difference when it comes to setting these filters up. So maybe just use my filters as a starting point, and then tinker around with them when you're out in the open, but also when you're inside of a building within a game of Warzone, so you can play around and get those settings just right for your setup. Now to bring up the NVIDIA in-game menu, what you need to do is press Alt and Z on your keyboard, and that will bring up this menu. Click on the game filters on the left hand side, and now this is where you can select your filters and start editing them. First, you want to select the color filter, and then the brightness and contrast, and finally, the sharpen filter. From here, you can click on the drop down icon that's kind of next to each of the filters, and you can change up the values to make the picture much more bright, vibrant, and clear. On the screen, I'll have all of the values that I have selected so you can copy them just by sliding the bar across with your mouse, or if you can't quite land on that uh, exact value, you can use your left and right D-pad on your keyboard to slightly adjust it. And lastly, once you do find that sweet spot of how you like your filters to look, I'd really recommend taking a screenshot of your settings, because when Nvidia releases driver updates, it sometimes unintentionally clears your filter settings. So if you've got that screenshot handy, you can quickly set your filters back up in the menu before you jump into a game again. Alright, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below, or if you'd like, you can join the Covert Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. If you found some value and this video helped you out at all, please make sure to leave a like on it. And if you're not already, then consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other Call of Duty related videos. Alright, that about wraps things up. I'll catch you next time, and you take it easy.